Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're staying dry tonight. Island residents are breathing a sigh of relief. I know we are, as Typhoon Francisco has spared the territory, only bringing with it some strong wind and rain, but fortunately no serious damage or injuries. While the government of Guam and many businesses were closed today, the tropical storm warning was dropped. The all clear was given around 2 o'clock this afternoon and the island was put back in condition of readiness for again around 2 o'clock. While most government agencies will reopen on Monday morning, the Treasurer of Guam, the Port Docks Operation, Guam Mass Transit and Public Housing Area staffing resumed operations after the all clear was given. Let's go ahead and bring up the satellite imagery and see what the latest with the formation is as Typhoon Francisco is now some 200 miles to the west northwest of our island. It packs maximum sustained winds of about 140 miles per hour. National Weather Service meteorologist Brandon Eidlett says that the storm continues pushing to the northwest at about 10 to 11 miles per hour and is strengthening. But with it moving farther away, we're becoming more in the clear. So the biggest problem though is we're going to still see uh, heavy showers pushing through the islands. Uh, and with those showers, we're going to get the gusty winds. Masters believe Francisco has its sights set on Japan. Fortunately for Guam, though, Idlet says we will likely see some patches of blue sky this weekend. He warns, though, that a small craft and high surf advisory remain in effect for the next several days. While residents were spared today, he warns. It's just a matter of time till we do get that direct hit. So it's important for people to assess how they prepare for this one and what lessons they can learn. So what can they do in the future to better prepare for when we do get that storm?